Luminous. Blue Mines. The, no, blue. Blue's Mines. We're heading back to the mines of Lou. Blue Bega? Yep. Mambo number little... six is what we hope to dig up. You know, I found a little bit of Monica, but the it's, the inflation is not worth it these days. I'm, it's Carol or nothing. Yeah, no, the, the power it takes to, to get a little bit of a little bit of that uh, is is just it's not worth, not worth it anymore. It. This is a remastered version of Luminous. Uh, it is the in most in most ways the same puzzle game that was pretty kick ass on the PSP. Uh, this is the Switch version. It's also on PC and PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, it's 15 bucks. Um, let's just play Luminous. Tell me about Luminous. Uh, it's a puzzle game. Uh, squares drop. Uh, there are two colors uh, on the squares, and you want to build matched color squares out of the squares. All right. Maybe I should just show you. Show, don't tell. Okay. Um, I know I said tell me about okay, Luminous. Yeah. But what I meant your mind, to say was fine. show me about Luminous. Okay. So doing that makes a square, and then we start kind of building on it a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Oh, I think I'd like this game a whole lot. It's really good. This is that Shining song I've heard so much about. Oh, so you can rotate around this square too. Uh. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, you can rotate the pieces. And uh, that timing line sweeps across and that kind of determines, you know, what your your score is per sweep, more or less. You know, you kind of build up these combos. Uh, and so you kind of want to get the most per sweep, I guess. Uh, yeah. And we got this special piece coming up. This is the thing they've changed, uh, is the way this piece operates. So when we drop this here, oh, uh, where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it here, I guess. Uh, and it will eliminate all of the like-colored pieces touching it. Oh. Uh, previously, that was something that you had to like make a square out of that piece, or, or make a square that included that piece to activate its special ability. Now it's just like as soon as you drop it, it activates. Okay. Uh, which is a change. I don't know. It, it's. Uh, I heard people talk about how you could get so good at this game that it just broke. Yeah, uh, that's. Uh, yeah, you kind of, you know, there's there's a right way to kind of drop pieces onto pieces, and uh, once you kind of learn all of that stuff, like the game does change tempo a little bit, um, and, and you know, not, that's, that's not to say it doesn't like get harder, it, it, it gets a little bit harder as you play it, but at the same time, rarely in such a way that it becomes unmanageable, yeah. as long as you know what you're doing, and, and, and the... Scoring potential becomes around things like, oh, we want to reduce this well to just be uh, all one color. Right. Uh, and there's a bonus for doing that. Uh, okay, so now we have another one of these special pieces. Let's clear that stuff out. And then while it's there and hasn't been sucked up yet, we can kind of connect some more pieces and try to, to you know, make it a, a bigger deal, right? Yeah. Um, and so that's luminous. It's uh, it's skin based here, so you know over time here the the look and sound is going to change. The song will change. Um, and we'll move through it basically until we lose. I like, I like this vibe. Yeah. Uh, it's it's very easy to just kind of get into a zone with it. Uh, it, it. It seems built to induce a mellow effect. Or a focused effect, I, I guess. But not necessarily a stressful one. Mm. Whoa. 
And so everything from the noise it makes when I move the pieces around and rotate them, like, like all of that stuff changes too. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah. It's like in Tetris Oops, DS. Shit. This was a PSP only game. Uh, originally, it was on the PSP, but it eventually kind of came a lot of places. You know, there, there was a, there's been another PC version before this remaster. Uh, there was Luminous Live for Xbox 360. Uh, something very similar to that came to PS3 as well. Um, so it, it's been around. At some point, they tried to put it on phones, but it's not great there. Um, Uh, but this feels like a very back to basics Luminous. It has uh, the mission mode and the puzzle mode and stuff like that. That I, I honestly, I'd have to go back and look. And I, and I it's, it's dumb because I played the PSP version of Luminous pretty recently. Uh, but I always just play this mode. I start at shining and play. Like I rarely want to engage with the rest of what Luminous has to offer. Um, but over these last few re-releases and stuff, that, or updates and stuff, there was Luminous 2 on PSP. There's Luminous for Vita. Um, you know, they've, they've tried to add different modes uh, to the mix and I like me a good puzzle mode on a, on a Tetris like game yeah it, the, I, I don't think the modes they've added are bad we'll, we'll, we'll jump into them here in a, in a bit maybe we'll get to like a third skin Yeah, so, you know, people get their own favorite skins, though it seems like everyone's favorite skin is just shining. Probably because it's first and it's good. Yeah. Um, but some of the later skins, you know, it starts to you know, look pretty cool. Uh, though never, like, deliberately obfuscated, you know? Like, they're, they're not trying to make it unclear about what yeah, you're supposed to do. Like, it's oh, not like, oh, this skin's impossible. Glitchier. Yeah, yeah. Um... And then if you have skins you like, you can you can actually edit together your own playlist of skins and play through them the way you want, or there's a single skin mode uh, where you can just kind of just loop the same skin forever. Um, but I, I don't know, I, I solved the issue of like, uh, oh, if you get once you get too good at Luminous, uh, it, it's not fun anymore. I solved that problem by never getting too too good at Luminous. <laughs> like I kept some amount of distance from it, where I was like, I feel like I'm okay at it. You never hit that theory crafting moment. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, the other thing I'll say is we're playing on the Switch, and I, I mentioned it on the podcast uh, this week, but the. Uh, the vibration on the Joy-Cons is very loud mm. in a way I found pretty off-putting. I'll hold it up here. It'll just kind of pulsate in time to the music. I don't know if it'll pick it up on the microphone, but but it sounds like, you know, like, like you're constantly getting a text message, that like, kind of high-pitched mm, phone noise. Mm, 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 mm. oh, it? And it's not great. The other thing is like I, all right, I should stop. But oh, we're so close to another skin. All right, okay, all right. Uh, let's do that, do that, and then do that, and oh, I get it over there in time. I like that it says you go dig it when yeah. you drop a piece. Alright, let's check out the other modes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
so yeah, uh, skin edit, you can go in and, you know, you unlock the different skins, you can pick up to 10 of them to play here. Uh, time attack is, you know, hey, play for a set amount of time. And then we have puzzle and mission mode and then a, a couple of versus modes here. Uh, create a small cross within the time limit. Adjacent blocks must be a different color. I don't know that it necessarily needs to be that color or if it could be the opposite color as long as you're making the shape. I don't, I don't yeah, remember. I don't know what that means. Uh, so, you know, it, it wants me to make a specific shape out yes. of the blocks. Uh, so... Let's see, I guess we could do... Okay, let's do that, and then that. Uh, that's not gonna be useful for us either, so let's drop it over here. I'm bad at this. Uh, okay, what's... Uh, remember, you can, like, start building up and then clear. Yeah, okay, so we can do that. Yeah. So I just need one... Okay, we need that, and then that. There it is. Yeah, nice. Oh, I like that mode. I would, I would get real yeah. deep into that. It's a neat idea. That it's, it's not... And then, you know... How many you got there? Lots. Hundred. Hundred. I'm a genius! Yep. And then there's mission mode. Uh, That's me down there yeah. in the shadow. It's me thinking about how many numbers there are. You know how many numbers there are? How many numbers? A hundred. A hundred numbers? Yeah. And then after you get to a hundred, you just reuse the old ones. Oh. It seems like it'd be confusing. So this is erase all blocks in one step. We did that. We win. Nice. You're like a time, like your brain works for missions the way mine does for numbers. I'm, I'm more mission oriented. Yeah. Like left brain, right brain. Mm-hmm. Glow times seem long. But we need ourselves is a Lucy who can unlock all our brain. Yeah. Yeah, I was just saying that. I'm always talking about the movie Lucy. Yeah. Remember. I, that. like most people, am always talking about the incredibly popular film Lucy. Yeah, it's one of those things like Star Wars where it's so ingrained, it's like referenced so much, it's you know, other yeah, movies like totally. copy it so much that it, you don't even realize how often you're thinking or talking. I just about wish it. the Lucy fan base wasn't so toxic. All their stuff about wanting to rewrite Lucy. Yeah, stuff, remake I just, it I, without. Lu a lu yeah. <laughs> no, no Lucy. Okay, uh, and then I do. Wait, I do this. It says mission mode. Okay. Jeff, I'm gonna stop you right here. It's 50. All right. Thank you. Uh, this is versus mode. You know, you can play this against another person locally. Uh, How does that work? Uh, you know, there are two Joy-Cons. What happens when, no, I mean like, what uh, are the Well, I'll show you, because the versus CPU thing is the same okay. stuff. You, you play in the same pit. Uh, and there is a dividing line okay. uh, that, that you kind of push one way or the other as you do better than the other player. Oh. Uh, so the idea is to push them all the way out. Is that you on the right? I'm on the left. Oh. I'm the records. Oops. Oh. Oh man. What's that number in the top left? Uh, that's how many square, uh, how many squares I think I have going 
his way next time. Oh. Uh, next time it kind of rings up. Oops. And it speeds up to kind of, you know, sure. Make it a little more pressing. Uh, all right, that'll be. Oh wow. Good. up that you're just taking his field over well it's that's life in the cruel world of competitive uh, luminous I guess so it's, it's like when uh, those bad guys tried to take away Lucy's mind powers exactly do I win do you want to fight me in luminous Sure. My first ever Luminous game. It's gonna load up the next fight here. A little and I'll load, back out. A little load timey. Yeah, yeah. I hate that skin. You don't like that skin? I do not Why? like that skin. Why don't you like that skin? I don't like the blocks. All right, well, we're gonna use analog sticks here, which is disgusting. That's me on the right. Got it. Uh, okay, yep. Uh, oh yeah, I actually like be better. Oh, huh. So you can put rotate on the triggers and then use the D-pad. That's... I like options. I like having options. Yeah. All right. I'm to tank. Oh, no. I'm to tank. Uh, so should we play on that skin that you hate no. so much? Because... Oh, no. Yeah. I love shaking. Okay, then this is going to be right now. up your alley. You're sh oh, you oh, wow. Really shaking over there. Yeah! Oh, that's a hard drop. That's not a, like, Tetris-style drop. Right, yeah. It's the other kind of Tetris-style drop. Yep. Oh no, I'm bad at luminous. <laughs> I mean, doesn't it feel good to find that out though? All right, let's try it. You know run, more run about back, back. yourself. Okay, all right, retry. Nice that the retry was, takes us back here where we can pick another skin. Yeah. That's smart. It was the, it was the skin's fault. Just... Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I will achieve a luminous victory. It's the last thing I do. Three, two, one. Maybe I should think about things before I drop them. Uh, I don't know that I recommend that. Oops.
Oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, I got my thing taken away as I was dropping it. Yeah, that's, it's it's harsh like that. That's a motherfucker. Oh. It happened again. All right. Fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> now this is actually... It's way different to play than I thought it would be. It's way more stressful. Oh. In a good huh. way. Yeah. Yeah, like... I feel like... It, I think once you kind of get used to the, the basic flow of it... Yeah. And, and it... Well, yeah, I, I guess actually that, that competitive mode is a little more stressful because you're, you're trying to just do everything as quickly as possible before the space gets taken away. Yeah. But I think the single player mode... Like, the, the pit is pretty wide. It's kind of relaxing. It's a little slow. Yeah. You, know, you get to hear Shine in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Shine is a good way to get in and, and all that stuff. It, it's... Yeah. It's a good time. It's Luminous. If you need a version of Luminous, like everyone does... I do. Uh, ...then this is a totally acceptable way to play it. And it's on current platforms, which is always nice, because those are the ones you're likely to have hooked up to a thing. Yeah, I want to get this for my Switch. Yeah, I've seen it on PS4. Uh, it looks fine there as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, this, this again, this the Switch version seems good here. I always think about it as kind of a handheld game, just because of its PSP roots. Sure. But uh, I mean, the Switch is the modern PSP. Exactly. Yeah, it's the new, it's the new new PSP. It's the new old. It's the new PSP. It's the new new PSP. It's the new Vita. Yeah. It's the Switch. <laughs> In stores now. In stores now. Luminous remastered out. It's fit. Yeah. Again, fifteen bucks. Pretty good. Thanks, Ben.